I have an issue with Twitter and with the lawmaker, a Republican out of Arizona. All right, uh, let's go to Paul Gosar. Shared a photoshopped animated thing, um, which is a parody video that shows him killing a Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Okay, so that's already crossing the damn line, right? But the story goes deeper than that. All right, uh, let's show some screenshots of this madness. Uh, the video um, shows uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, the superheroes battling against Joe Biden and migrants crossing the border um, and killing AOC. All right, let's show some more of the pictures. Um, according to this fantasy world uh, that Paul lives in, um, he's able to kill AOC. This is his fantasy, he made this fantasy up. It's fantasy, right? Okay, sick individual here. He posted this, he's proud of it, he's cool with it. Um, under his own Twitter page, here's what Twitter says, right? Twitter says, this tweet violated the Twitter rules about hateful conduct. You would assume the tweet would be removed and it ends there, right? But no, 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 Twitter has a new gray area now. However, Twitter has determined that it may be in the public's interest for the tweet to remain accessible. The hell? Wait a minute. You just said this is hate. Okay. Uh, this is about killing elected officials. Your community standards have been violated. You say that this tweet violated the Twitter rules. Uh, but for some reason, it is such a public interest that we must be okay. Oh, I get it. If you put it in a cartoon, you can do almost anything. So let's say this, all right? Let me give you a scenario just to see if this works um, to the other extreme here, Twitter. So if there are white people calling black people the N word and they do it through animation, even though that's technically a violation of the Twitter rules, I mean, is this now? More so about public interest, do they get a pass here? It's really ridiculous, AOC did respond um, and here's her response. So while I was en route to Glasgow, uh, a creepy member I work with <laughs> who <laughs> fundraises for neo-Nazi groups shared a fantasy video of him killing me and he'll face no consequences because GOP leaders cheer him with no excuses. Um, fun Monday, well back to work because institutions don't protect WOC. Yeah. David, thoughts? Well, I'm not surprised that there are some constituents of creepy <laughs> Paul Gosar and any other member of Congress who would do things that are just whacked, right? I mean, that's that's been happening for a long yeah. time. But the difference now is that 20 years ago, if a member of Congress retransmitted, repromoted, retweeted, if there was Twitter back then, something this offensive, um, that member of Congress would have been sanctioned. They would have been kicked yes, out of the caucus. They would have been stripped out of committees. And their party leader would have said, no, -uh, you're not doing that again. This time, it's nothing but crickets from Kevin McCarthy, the Republican. Yep. Why? Because he somehow doesn't want to offend the extremists in the Republican Party because Kevin McCarthy thinks, well, this is his ticket towards becoming the House Speaker if Republicans take over. It's absolute nonsense. And again, it shows that the basic civility and decency that we used to have among members of Congress, that's just out the window. And so, okay, Republicans remember this because the next time a Democrat retweets something about a Republican being killed, are you gonna stay quiet then? Because I don't think so. Yeah, and remember Republicans are the ones that talk about um, how things like this go too far. Um, and uh, Twitter tries to silence the conservative voices. Well, damn, Twitter is literally saying we're letting this person break the rules. Because obviously, according to Twitter, it has some amazing public value here. Um, wow.